so now in this slide we will be discussing some conceptual questions so in conceptual questions that uh, we are not going to write all these things just we will discuss each and every concept and try to understand let us take first example you know while catching cricket ball you might have seen the players when they catches the ball they lowers their hand why it is so see here we know it force is equal to rate of change of momentum according to newton second law of motion if the ball is coming and you are trying to catch the ball and suddenly you catch like this what happen within a short time you reduces the velocity of ball to zero it means change in momentum rate of change of momentum is very high because within the short time if the rate of change of momentum is very high it means you will need greater force to stop as a result you may feel hurt if you lower your hand you are increasing the time rate of momentum decreasing as a result force is decreasing and you can catch easily the ball and you will not feel any hurt similar example to here if you are jumping from a height on a floor where sand is placed or you can say mattress is here and if you jump on any hard surface you will get hurt but in case of the sand you can't the reason is as you jump on any hard surface suddenly your momentum reduces to zero rate of change of momentum is very high and you get experience large force from the ground as a result you get hurt but if you are jumping on the sand sand surface you know it your body takes time to stop it means rate of change of momentum will be less and less forces applied by the ground as a result you will not get hurt or that you will not experience larger force another example very simple you can see example suppose there is a car and a bus both are coming uh, both are coming from the opposite side suppose from this side you have taken truck and from this side you have taken a car these are coming from opposite sides obviously you know mass of the car truck is much larger as compared to mass of the car we don't know their speeds we can take any speed both are colliding with each other there is a head on collision what happen as they collide with each other during collision both the bodies apply force on each other according to principle of conservation of linear momentum there is no external force except friction that we don't uh, include here so whatever the force like truck is applying force on car car is applying force on truck these two forces are equal and opposite in direction now what happen in both the cases truck and car there will be change in velocities so both are experiencing same forces but which one will experience greater acceleration obviously mass of the car is less so you know it a is equal to f upon m since force involved in both the cases are equal masses are different so obviously there will be more acceleration in the car as compared to truck if the more acceleration is here on the of the car there will be more force on the car as a result more damaged will be on the car as compared to truck so this is a example where we can apply this one 